you know, there's lots of great applications being built with it, uh, and we're really excited to see uh, those applications appear. Uh, what I thought I wanted to do is actually show a real-world example of how one company is taking advantage of .NET and WPF uh, to kind of create a rich branded experience uh, that they can integrate inside their customers' existing lifestyle today. Uh, Tesco.com, for those of you who aren't familiar uh, with it, is actually the largest online uh, grocery retailer in the world. Uh, and uh, their back-end uh, system and their website is actually built entirely using ASP.NET and .NET uh, today. And they're going to shortly be launching kind of a new client application experience that complements it that they're building in WPF. And I'd like to invite uh, Nick Lansley uh, from Tesco on stage uh, to show it off. Hi there, Scott. Thanks nice to meet you. Thanks, Scott. It's great to be here. My name is Nick Lansley. I'm head of IT and new technologies at Tesco.com. And with me is Paul Dawson. He's Director of Experience and our design and development partner, Conchango. Hi there, Paul. Hi. Now, let me introduce Tesco. We're one of the largest grocery retailers in the world, operating in over a dozen countries. We're also the world's number one biggest online grocery retailer. And as Scott was saying, we're entirely powered in .NET, which includes the forthcoming Tesco API for developers that we're launching soon. Now, shopping for groceries is different. It's not about a single book or a CD that you buy. It's about buying 40, 50, 60 different items. And we want to help our customers spend less, but spend more of what they do have with us. Our customers tell us that to differentiate ourselves, we must be proactive, we must inspire them, and we must make grocery shopping easier and faster. And this new immersive experience needs to be a client application. So let's show you what we're thinking. We start with a gadget. From, it's called the Tesco at Home gadget, and it's from that that we fire up our application. It allows you to stay up to date with your to-do list, with your Tesco delivery, and even see special offers. It's informative, but unobtrusive, until you need it. And the application's just launching now. And this is what we call our cork board. So we looked at how our customers live their lives, and this cork board is really the hub of family life. So it's got messages and notes from family and friends. It's got everybody's calendars and to-do lists and reminders. It's got special offers, recipes for a bit of inspiration, and, of course, the family photos from all kinds of sources. Now, customers are increasingly conscious of health, cost, and the environment. So a great way to shop smartly is meal planning. So, let's go into the calendar, as this is a logical place to plan, because we can see what else is going on in our lives. And with a few clicks and drags, this is a fast way to plan. It adds all of the ingredients to my basket automatically. As you can see, we're adding it to different dates on the calendar. Um, we can also then go on to recipes. So we'll just put these, some of these items into our basket there, including one of the big roast dinners. Excellent. Then we're going to go on to recipes. Now, they don't just give us the ingredients, they can give us video and step-by-step -step instructions. They can also uh, allow us to adjust quantities for the people that I'm catering for. There are even calorie counts. And we just drag those straight into the basket like everything else. So there you go, what, three meals, 30 seconds, how easy was that? Well, if you felt that was a little bit, maybe that was a bit too easy, wasn't it? Well, how about trying to find one thing amongst 30,000 grocery products? So, supposing, Paul, we're trying to find a birthday cake. So we can zip through the categories, and we get a 3D wall of product like this, so we can actually find the cake really fast and buy that cake straight away. Excellent. But also we can stumble across things we weren't expecting, like this fantastic Christmas cake. Great, let's take a closer look at that cake. Our customers really want to see the detail, lots of it, so that they know what they're getting. You can also see good suggestions and useful options, which can be cost-saving. Fantastic. Well, now let's go to the checkout and get our delivery sorted. Um, we're going to get most of this stuff delivered, but first we're going to get our friend Rob to pick up some milk on his way home from work, just by dragging it in there. We'll also put that Christmas cake that we discovered on our special Christmas list that our customer has created. Excellent. And the rest is for delivery. And that could be it, but I was told that PDC was about the coolest technologies. So let me show you something else we can do today. So, Paul, I'm sorry, I've run out of cola. Can you put some on the list, please? Now, because we have an integrated webcam and we know about barcodes, it's easy. So whether you've run out of milk or cola, you just add it to your list by waving it in front of your PC.
Excellent. And of course, you can switch to a special offer as well. So let's, uh, I think there's something on special offer there. Let's throw that into the basket. So that was our new Tesco at home in WPF. It offers a step-by-step -step change in the customer experience over the pure website that we offer today. The benefits of a more engaging planning and shopping tool in the kitchen are obvious. And I'd like to thank Kinchango and Paul Dawson for designing and developing this. The forthcoming Tesco API will be open to everybody, all developers, so they can do design great applications for our service. And as I hope our Tesco customers will say when they start trialling this next year, just as our company slogan says, every little helps. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.